Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and right now I am going to be filming a different kind of video. This is one that I've been wanting to film for a while now, but I wasn't really sure how to put what I had to say into words, so I'm gonna try. I figured with New Year's resolutions right around the corner, this would be a good topic because it sort of has to do with that, but I guess just more so personal development in general and something that I've struggled with my entire life. We're gonna get a little bit deep. I know I'm wearing antlers because tis the season, but this is a more serious video. If you've been watching my channel for a while, my story times just me as a person you may notice a trend you may notice a pattern and if you think you know me online you don't let me say that straight off the bat because most people think they know a lot about me but they don't I'm a very very private person which may be hard to believe based on the fact that I share my life online but I am there's a lot of stuff I keep to myself and this includes people in my personal life there's just a lot of things that I would rather not acknowledge and pretend like are fine and I want to say I am so happy in my life right now everything is great I'm looking so forward to the new year, but among all my cliche resolutions, my cliche goals for 2018, the biggest thing that I would like to accomplish in the new year, and forgive me if this is all over the place, but I hope that it'll make sense by the end of the video, is I want to learn how to say, for lack of a better phrase, F you to people. I want to learn how to stand up for myself because it's something that I've never been able to do. Recently, I was contacted by an intuitive astrologer. And if you don't believe in astrology, you don't have to. This is sort of besides the point, but it's what kind of brought this all to light as of recently for me. We were talking, she was going through my chart. We spoke on the phone for hours. We've been in contact ever since then. We became like really good friends actually. And she was asking me a lot of questions about reoccurring events in my life with friendships, with relationships. And these weren't things that were necessarily foreign to to me that I hadn't noticed myself or other people hadn't pointed it out. But the way that she was going about acknowledging and saying these patterns were in a way that I hadn't really heard somebody objectively say them, if that makes sense. And don't get me wrong, I've had a lot of friends who I've kept throughout the years who have been there through the good times and the bad and are still my best friends to this day. But she asked me, she said, how many best friends do you have? How many times have you used the word best friend? And I've had best friends, I've had friends call me out for that in my life. They say, you can't have more than one best friend. That's your best friend. And in my eyes, I was always like, well, I've moved around a lot. I've lived in different locations. I have my best friend in Ohio, my best friend in Reading, my best friend in the Bay Area. And sometimes you have more than one best friend. So that means I have multiple best friends in different areas. And I was always like, oh, I don't get why people say you can only have one or you can only have a couple. That I overuse the word best friend. Throughout this conversation we were having, I had been telling her about like terrible things that had happened to me. And they all pretty much started out with, oh yeah, we were best friends. And then this person did blah, 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 blah. And she was like, all right, what is the common denominator here? And I was like, I don't know, people being shitty to me. And she was like, no, you letting these best friends take advantage of you because they're your best friend. I would tell her, you know, I had a bad vibe. I ignored it. I knew that that was going to happen, but I didn't want to believe it, whatever the situation may be. And she was like, why would you do that? You should have trusted your intuition. If you knew that they were going to end up screwing you over, you continue to sit there and let it happen. That's not your best friend. Someone who's going to take advantage of you, someone who's going to lie to you, someone you can't trust. The moment someone calls you their best friend, run. That's what she said to me. Obviously, if you have a best friend, that's your best friend. If you have a close friend, that's your close friend. But in this situation, scenario I'm talking about, she said, that's their way of using you as their emotional tampon, dumping their baggage on you, and then you feel obligated to take care of their shit, put all the kindness and effort into that best friendship that you have for someone who just claims to be your best friend, but does not back up what the meaning of a best friend or even friend in general means. And I marinated on that and I was like, you're right. You're honestly right. I do overuse the word best friend. And that probably is ultimately a lot of what gets me into bad situations because I trust people that I barely freaking know. And I mean, if you've seen even one or two of my stories on my channel, then you already know this for a fact. And it's not even necessarily that I have poor judgment. It's that I choose to ignore my intuition when it comes to people because I always know when someone's a snake. I don't listen to my gut. I pray my gut is wrong. And I want to think that these people who are my best friends would never be capable of doing what it is that they do to me, which is like awful, terrible things. You guys don't even know how the stories I could tell you about the shitty things people have done in my life. I'm actually probably going to talk about this pretty soon here because I am moving out of this apartment. I'm transferring to Chico as you guys know, but I was technically evicted from this apartment due to the actions of somebody else and me trying to help them out and that screwed me over and that person didn't give a shit what happened to me in that scenario and somebody was sent to jail and it's just the whole thing I'm going to probably talk about in a separate video one day and I hope that people can learn a lesson from my mistake. You are enabling other 
people's behavior who you associate with who are your best friends because you hang out and you party with them but you can't trust them and they will steal from you they'll lie to your face they'll take 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 I look back on people that I was best friends with for a period of time and it's a joke it's like the entire friendship I can clearly see that they only wanted to be friends with me for what I had that could benefit them and how many story times have I deliberately said I didn't want them to get in trouble so I took the blame or I didn't want so-and-so to find out what so-and-so did so I kept my mouth shut I'm an extremely loyal person to the point where it's dumb it's stupid I will take the bullet for anybody but by doing that I'm jumping in front of it and I'm getting shot myself if someone doesn't have friends it's probably for a reason if somebody gives you a bad vibe you should probably trust your gut if somebody is not treating you the way that you deserve and not displaying the proper attributes of what a friend should look like let alone a best friend they're not your best friend they're not your friend they don't care about you and usually I'm calling these people my best friends because they're calling me their best friend and I'm like oh my gosh they're my best friend now let me just go be an awesome friend to them and get nothing in return and then have them screw me over six months later I don't go oh this person is clearly not the person I should be hanging out with clearly has bad intentions clearly would screw me over at any second I clearly can't trust them I don't filter through people in that way I sort of am just like oh yeah welcome like be my friend come into my house sleep over let's share secrets hee hee I do that with absolutely everybody and yeah I may get a couple good friends here and there who are genuine but for the most part people are really shitty and they cannot be trusted especially right off the bat when there's no structure of the friendship and they see from the get-go that they can't take advantage of you because you're willing to be a good friend in the very beginning no work no effort has been put into the friendship you're already picking up the tab you're already letting them into your home you're already telling them things that make you vulnerable that they can use against you later I mentioned in a more recent video it was like how I lost all my best friends in high school talking about my freshman year and going through some pretty traumatic experiences and how I had a group of friends who were really controlling and just possessive of me and they all stopped being my friend when shit hit the fan because they really did not care about me because it was a very superficial group of friends they didn't care about each other the astrologer who I was talking with was basically like you're letting history repeat itself with the same type of people who are shitty when you actually need them there for you they're not because you're trying to get a different outcome than what happened even at that age what it comes down to is stupidity <laughs> and self-esteem and I have a lot of confidence but I think self-esteem is a little bit different and when you let people walk all over you you don't have a lot of self-esteem and I never thought about it that way until she said that to me and I was like damn every friendship I can ever remember happening where someone was my best friend and then they were like really shitty but I ignored it because like I wanted them to be a good friend like I was to them and then they weren't shit hit the fan and we stopped being friends because there was a breaking point where they did things so bad to me and it shouldn't be like that things shouldn't have to get to that level of extreme with friendships relationships whatever for me to be able to stand up for myself I want to see the best in people I truly do I will literally ignore all the bad traits of somebody and see the one good one sometimes they tell funny jokes so I'm gonna keep hanging out with them because I feel like they have potential it's laughable when people show you who they are the first time believe them you can't assume people have the same heart as you you can't assume that people have the same intentions as you I have been best friends with people and known that they were bad people but I didn't want to acknowledge that my boyfriend would be like Ali you should not be hanging out with that girl that girl does this this and this and I would be like no you don't know them like you don't understand you know their name not their story like whatever you know I would always get so defensive and I would know deep down that that person who was telling me I shouldn't be hanging out with those people was right. I want to think that I'm jumping to conclusions. I would never want to make false judgments or accusations about somebody if they really are a good friend and something just came off weird, but I pick up on things and I may not say anything. Actually, I never say anything. That's the problem. I trusted that person to begin with to allow them into my life to the point where when I no longer wanted anything to do with them, they were still there causing a ruckus. I want to avoid conflict or people being mad at me for standing up for myself to the extent where it only leads to extreme conflict in the end I don't walk away if you guys have watched my videos like I said I don't share a lot of deep stuff but in the videos where I have shared stuff that was a little bit like whoa that happened to you it's scary because Look how I ended up there. In so many situations, I would be explaining to someone, well, I didn't know they were like that until they did this. That's such bullshit. That's a lie, Ali. They did this, this, and this to you, but it was a little bit on a smaller scale. So you were like, no big deal, like it's fine. Of course, I wanna believe my friend when they lie to my face, but when I know better, why am I continuing to act like I believe that shit? When I don't, it's because I don't wanna believe it. Why do I not wanna believe it? Because I don't wanna face reality. And I don't wanna have to cut those people off because I hate cutting people off. I hate it. I hate it 
it because I care so much about people who couldn't give a shit about me. And when I have to cut somebody off for that reason, that's because I have to acknowledge they don't give a shit about me like I give a shit about them. And that's like extremely hard for me to do and admit to myself. And I hope this is making sense. This is like my biggest reflection on not just 2017, but the past 21 years of my life. I want you guys to learn from my mistakes even if I can't because I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. And so for 2018, I am trying to learn how to say F you and stand up for myself and not take people's shit. And I think the first step is admitting and recognizing like there's a problem. And maybe this is a video I shouldn't be making. Maybe this is obvious to a lot of you and you guys are like, well, duh, Ali, like this is pretty clear as day. I have a hard time admitting it out loud. So that's why I'm making the video. This is like a real actual goal, which I think I should be working on above like a lot of other stuff. So New Year's resolutions, come at me, bro. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you did like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications. I also have a patreon if you guys want to check me out on there It'll be linked below in the description and you can get my private snapchat exclusive photo shoots unseen footage, etc Also follow my social medias and I will see you guys in the next video later alligators. Bye